Good to have you back to Elden Ring. So we previously took out Star Scorch Radon, and we're about to go do Celine's uh, continue Celine's questline in this part and possibly finish it up. But I realized in the end of the last part, I was supposed to show us where we get the um, cool armor set, and this is the let me show us. The clean rot set. And let me show us where we at. So we are in Kaled right now. And we're right here at this grave. The inner A Aonia. Um oh yeah, let me show us some stuff we I got from this merchant too. Um, between now and the last part. And that'll show us what to uh, how to get this on the set. Okay, so we got a couple things from that merchant. One of them being, let's see, there was a note. There we go, gravity's advantage. Gra gravitational power that pulls can bring flying foes low. So that's kind of cool. I want to try that, but I don't think we have any gravitational magic though. <laughs> that's all you think. Um, let's see, and the other thing we got is... Warrior's Cookbook number 15 Which is, is that here too? No, different section? Which section? Warrior's Cookbook... Right here? Oh, here we go That's fine Raw Bone Arrow, Raw Bone Bow so I think that applies some um, rot damage. I think. Maybe this one? No. It's like a raw. Here we go. Raw bone. Causes scarlet rot builder. I forgot what scarlet rot do. I I think does that affect your a defense? Maybe. I have to look that up again. Okay, so that's the two things I got from the merchant, and then let me show us how to get this set. Let me go and rest at the the grace here. We'll reset the enemy, and we're gonna go south, and we're gonna farm these guys. Those guys right there. They can be pretty tough, but you got you gotta be careful. But I find this works really good. Like two of this and that's it. So we keep farming these guys. So this this one right here. Let me also show us where we are on the map here. There we go. So this is the first one right here. And the next guy we kind of have to hurry. Because he does go a little far. There we go. This guy right here. And one of the things you have to be careful when you're here, when you're standing, oh see, he just dropped something. Oh, we got the green, there we go. I'm so glad he dropped that to show us. <laughs> okay, so once we're in the swamp, we get Scarlet Rod damage. But if we're on, um, we're on Torrin, we're okay. Look at Torrin, looking mighty fine today. Look at you looking up. <laughs> but here's the second one, right over here. Alright. And I'm gonna show it. So there are more of them, but these are the three I tend to go to. Oh, and since we're here, let me go and grab these. Okay, so he appears from the swamp. None of them will do that. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. But it does take a bit. Oh, we got the sword now too. Look at that. <laughs> this is working out so good for us today. I'm so glad. Okay, so that's how we farm for the Zalmer set, and these are the three that I go to. So here's the third one. There's more. If you're um, if you're trying to farm this too, you'll probably find more and find your own path. But at least this way, it gets you started on that. Okay, so now that we did that, <laughs> um, I'm gonna switch to a new armor we got, which is Radon set. Can be amazing, I think. Redon's lion armor. Oh my goodness. Even the sound of it sounds amazing. I hope you're doing well today, fam. It's uh we actually changed the time today too. I didn't even realize that. I thought I was running really late until uh 
I realized today the time changed and we gained an hour back. So instead of being right now, it's 10.45. Um, I thought it was 11.45, but that, that's so cool though. <laughs> Let's see, Redon's, Hellman, Armor, Gauntlet, Grieve, okay. So we got this from beating Radon previously and we went back to the round table and bought this from the finger reader lady. Oh wow, what the? Oh wow! What the? Where in the world? <laughs> I don't know where he came from. He just popped out of nowhere, fam. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow! I don't know what, what happened? Oh well, I'm out of here for now. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yes, I kind of wonder. There was a um... I don't know if we did this yet. There was an enemy here that keep... Like, very bothersome. <laughs> Let me see. Um... I think I got hit back towards that place. It's one of those... Ooh, hold on, let's go to those spots. Oh, here we go. Yep. Okay, it's still active. We got kicked off Torrent. So there is a... Um, invasion. And, you know what, I'm kinda not ready. <laughs> Let me get myself ready. Where is he? He or she coming from? Oh, there it is. So, when you do, when you do the farming, you probably wanna knock her out first. Oh man, we got stars a lot, but that's okay. Oh, I knocked her out of that. <laughs> Take that! Nice. He ain't so tough. She was pretty tough before though, I have to say. Hey, let me go and heal up. Oh wow, we got a lot of stuff on her. Sacramento bug, golden room. Okay, nice. Um, let's see. Is it this one? No. Which one was it that yo? I think it's just a law of regression. There you go. Bam. Oh yeah, we got this um this magic too. I want to show us Radagon's Rings of Light. It's chargeable. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> so that's the charge version. Quick version is like this. I think it goes out further. Once we charge it, let me see. Oh no, it's the same distance. It's just probably more powerful though. Okay, so we took her out. That's good. And um, I think we could go ahead and go. Oh man, I don't like these guys either. Oh. So hard to hit these guys. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the Zalman set. What we were originally doing before we got interrupted. Oh, goodness. I should get out of this area first, maybe. This area is kind of dangerous. Hey, they just pop out of nowhere. Wow, we're getting like the set. <laughs> we're getting so much of the set. It's, it's so funny. Alright, I'm gonna get out of this area first. They don't usually pop up like that too, it's the funniest thing. If I was farming and they were doing that, that would have been great. That would have helped a lot. Alright, so this is Radon's set. Let me just show us. We got a couple other new armor to show us too. Pretty cool. Looks very nice. Um, Oh yeah, I was talking about the time change. <laughs> I can't remember what we were talking about. Okay, so now that we defeated Radon, which was here in Red Man Castle. We could go back to Selene and that's what we're gonna do for this part and try to finish her quest line. We're gonna go back to Waypoint Ruin Sailor. So yeah, what do you think about the time change fame? Do, do you like time change or do you prefer like we just stay with the same time zone all year long? Give me a comment on that. Me? I I kind of like to stick with the same time zone, but today it really helped that the time changed on me, though. <laughs> so, alright, let's talk to her. My apprentice, give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. About the request, here we go. Let me see if there's anything new. Nope, nothing there. Scroll, okay. 
The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy's shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. All right. My body is on the weeping, imprisoned in the ruin. Can you make the? I have something. Okay, so uh, let's do as she said and go check out that place. Let me um switch back to this and let me switch out our magic and also love all. So much to do. <laughs> okay, let's do some leveling. And I think we were trying to level up our cane in order to let me check something to use one of this new sword that we have. I believe it was one of this katana that we got. This one, River of Blood needs arcane twenty. Okay, so yeah, we're working towards that. I did go farm some rooms so we could level up a bit. And if that's the case, I'm gonna put two points in arcane, continue a vigor, and then also an endurance. There we go. I want to be able to wear heavier armor to show us more armors, and then it's always nice to have more health, I think. And let me see what I have on this. Aptolo, okay, so that is good. And spell, let's change it up. Well, actually, let me keep this and see if I could actually use it on something and see how powerful it is. Okay, so she wants us to go to Weeping Venezuela, which is here. Weeping Evergreen Tombs Wars Room. I think it was. Here we go, Source of Selene, Witch Bane Ruins. This is where she wants us to go. So let's go here to the church. And see what she got for us here. Alright. Nice little peaceful area. <laughs> After all that we've been through, this makes it pretty nice and peaceful. I think it's right here. May have to go down here, I believe. We've been here before. Is this the. Oh, yeah, this is the poison area. Okay. I think it's. um. There's a, there's a way. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's this guy. Okay. We gotta go, we gotta go. I think he shoot this thing from above, which is kind of scary. Alright, here we go. Thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My oh, ouch. primal. Not cool, buddy. Not cool. We're in the middle of a quest. Anybody else came down? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I better make sure all of them get taken care of before we talk to her again. I hope I didn't interrupt the quest. Right, it's just that guy. Okay, I think we're good now. <laughs> Without further interruption, here we go. My apprentice, these shock There is something I need you to look after. My primal glintstone. A star has fallen, and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I entrust it with you, myself. A set primal glandstone. All right. Yes, please. Whoa. Ooh, even got blood on there. You see that, fam? <laughs> so what happened now? <sighs> Th 
Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. She always been pretty headstrong with us. It's actually kind of interesting to see her like this. Treat it with care, my apprentice. What you hold is my very being. My very being. Treated what you hold. Right. So I make sure there's no new conversation. And I think the next part. So we could either. I think we just need to refresh. But if you're trying to do this too, you may have to come back here to uh, Remain Castle. And let me see if I could. Um, let me see. Let me go and fast travel back. Because you may need to come back here and speak with Jaren. See if there's any changes. Because I also read that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You see, the enemies do come. Oh, what is this? Wait, where are we right now? This is. Oh wow, this is another boss or something. Okay, so we can't even go back in. Well, we'll do this another time. So, um, but if... I think if you... Because I spoke with Jaren previously and finished up his dialogue. But if you, um... You may have to come here. And I think it won't look like this. It should look like it'll let you go Drew. There's no enemies and you get to, like, talk to him in the... In like the throne room on the top, I believe. So we're gonna head back to the same place. Right here. And see if things change. I think it should. Alright. Okay, here we are again for Church of America. I'm heading the right way. Which way are we going? Gotta go down. I can't jump down from here, unfortunately. Or can I? Ooh. Go soldier. Oh, have we spoke with this guy. Hello, sir. Have we spoken with you before? Talk. Can I talk? Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to a home bathing rays of gold. I feel like that's the first time we talked to him. <laughs> There's another one of the mausoleum. Which I'm saving for, um... Okay, this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait by the doorstep. Like, right here. Oh, you see? That's Jaren. Okay, good, good. That's exactly what we want. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait here a little bit. See those soldier guys will follow you. So they don't interrupt us. There we go. Here he comes. Here's one of them. <laughs> we learn, buddy. Right. Is it just one of them? Or they're gonna be more. That looks like it hurts with that arrow in us. I think maybe maybe that's it this time. Alright, let's go. If they come down more, there's more than enough of us to take care of them, I think. Alright, let's see if we can still speak with... Nope. Something... Oh, wait. Hawk? Ah, well met. Ah. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. 
Wow, do you know that about who? It is strange though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. In another body. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. Oh wow, he, he really don't like her. I suspect Selen lives on. I'm sure she'll turn a sickening thought. Okay, and just as he says, can we see his face? I feel like most of the people we're running to, they like hide their faces pretty good. I mean, look at her with the mask, look at him. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe they're all shy. Okay, so we are going. Next stop. She gave us her primal, um, primal glenstone. And now we're gonna stop by here, the three sisters. And we're gonna go to Cellar vs. Rice. Let me go here. Cellar vs. I really like this armor set. I mean, I use this for a while. But I'm gonna switch to the other one to show us uh, what they look like first. And then I'll switch back. The dragon. <laughs> and the wolves. <laughs> See you wolfies. So we did also camp here previously. Um, to this ruins. With the uh, secret passage. Which was Sullivan's uh, secret lab down here. So this, this basically, it was a floor and you just have to row on it. And this will uh, open up for us. Okay, it's a nice creepy place with a bunch of dolls. <laughs> with a message. Sullivan's puppet, do not touch. No touchy touchy. And here, here's a really cool thing right here, fam. Look at it. Boom! Secret wall. Secrets everywhere. Can I interact with them? No? Alright. You can hear the dragon walking above us. And look at this! I don't know if this is a doll. I think it's a doll, but... Okay. Transplant Primal Blinstone. Wow, look at that. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice. I owe this all to you. Yay! Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the. Okay, so this setup looks just like her other area. Just taking a look. Okay, so next place to go now that we've done this. Go to Celine. Um, so she says she's gonna return to the academy, and that's exactly where we're gonna go. Um, I think we're gonna go to the Grand Library, Grace. Let me see. I have a little no I wrote down. <laughs> Library, Grace. Yeah, I think this is right. And from here, we actually have a choice to make, fam. Um, I think we're gonna go out. And let me see something too. How heavy are we? Medium low? Okay, good, good, good. I forgot to check to see how heavy this set is. But we have been racing up our um, stats though. Okay, so you see this? We have a golden um, summon on, I guess, the right of your screen? <laughs> but on the left side of our character? And then we have the red one. So this is where we have to make a choice. With this one, I don't know if it will. If I click it, are we gonna summon or? So this one, we will help her fight with Jaren. And then with this one, we will help Jaren fight her. 
I'm I'm gonna help her out, even though the way Jaren explained everything, I I don't know. I mean, we are her apprentice and everything, but you you could choose either way. I think we get pretty much similar results and items. Oh, we get her bell bearing if you choose to help Jaren, I believe. So I'm gonna choose to help Celine though. Um. Okay. Here we go. Summon to assist Celine. Okay. Yep. And then the other one, let me see. Like give us a confirmation before we do it. Be summoned to challenge to assist the link. There you go. I'm gonna help with assist her, yes please. So assist Celine. Jaren, bringer of my death. You have my gratitude. From my shackles. Work is done. Join the reflect on your mistake. This is actually almost too easy, fam. With the two of us like this, he stands no chance. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon, I suppose. Goodbye, Jaren. Witch Hunter Jaren. Bloody finger language. Oh. Returning to our world. Ta da! Eccentric set. Sweet. Oh, uh, where this probably in the coming parts. <laughs> okay, so let me explain a little bit too. If you choose the other option, you could still get the set. By killing Jaren afterwards, I believe. Um, you also will get stuff dropped from Celine herself. The difference is we don't get Celine. I believe one of the things being a bell bearing. But that just allows us to buy her magic anyway. So I think this is a better choice. But then I also read somewhere that um, Jaren may have additional quests later on. Um, somebody said it might be like a patch in the future but right now he kind of leave a clue for that so okay <laughs> ah my apprentice you've saved my skin once again do you see this the queen of caria is no more with the bodies of masters azure and Usat returned the academy can hone the primeval current so that we fallen children of the stars shall beam with brilliance once again my apprentice, will you stay with us here at the academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I... No. The entire academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice, become Elden Lord. So I guess she took over, I feel like. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Ooh, Glenstone Chris. That looks like a sword. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which cause the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh my, the student becoming the teacher and the teacher becoming the student? <laughs> oh, one last thing. Oh. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. <laughs> Her words are still as sharp as ever, I have to say. Yeah. Oh, she got a new magic for it. Shaw Spiral. Fires Twin Spiraling Projectile. Oh, hook us up. Hook us up, teacher. Scroll, okay. What is it, my apprentice? 
Alright, so now that we got all that, I I read that um let me see something here. Cause uh, the queen used to be where she's standing right now. Oh here, here she is! <laughs> where did ye flee, my sweetings? He's like Come on the side here. From whence ye hide of the dark, be not afeared. My beloved egg is with us. Come out, I pray thee. Hmm. Thou, art thou now assured of thy want to be born anew? Oh, okay, so she still had the rebirth for us. Be not alarmed, nor afeared. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. Okay, I just got kind of wondering, like, <laughs> where she is. And... Be not alive. I would birth. So I'm not too sure the story. What's going on? Uh, why is she on the all the way on the side there like that? But um, let's refresh too. I don't know if we have to go to another grace outside of here, but let's try this. Oh, there we go. So now she's back. And I want to take a look at um, what we got earlier. I think it was a sore. Looks like a sore. Here we go with the search of new items in the inventory. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Stone Crest, okay. So this is a um, skilling of intelligent dexterity. Okay, pretty nice. Glenstone Dar skill. Skill that builds from the Glenstone Pepper Sorcery. Charge the skill to upgrade it to Glenstone Dar. Follow up with a strong attack to change the skill into a lunging thrust. Okay. Like a looks like a dagger. I think these are daggers? Yeah, these are all daggers. Okay, cool. And so now she's back, the queenie. And what is a uh, teacher? Oh, what is this? What is this? <sighs> My... Uh, friend. I... Wow, she's part of this globe. Oh my, what a thing to happen to her. Any new spell for us? <laughs> Man, that is... Well, that's all she said, my apprentice. And check it out. We got her mask. <laughs> I think I'll probably wear this in the coming part too. I feel kind of bad for her fam. I mean... So I guess she's just... Just that now. Wow. Okay. So that's the... Um, almost the end of the quest line. There's a couple more things to do. Let me check my notes real quick too. Um, We got the crown. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the... Um... Master Azor and Master Lusat, and we, we could get their set from this point. I'm gonna do that. I'll probably transition over there too. Let me think. Where were, where were they again? <laughs> oh yeah, one of them I think was up here. Yeah, it was somewhere here. I think we gotta go this way. Abandoned coffin. No, not this one. Oh, it's further up. Okay, this one. Craftsman Shack. Uh, not this. Fine. There we go. Oh, wow, there's a, this is a fast travel right beside him. How convenient. I don't have to fast travel, maybe. I mean, I don't have to transition, maybe. Oh, I don't. Oh, wow. So nice. <laughs> so, okay. Here we go. Azure said. Only three peas. Alright, very nice. In the next one, I'll probably transition because uh, we gotta go through that secret cave and everything. So let me show us where it is. 
Um, it was here. And it was... Was it this one? Yeah, Celia Hideaway. Here we are! And from here, ta-da! So the body both disappear and leaving behind the armor set. Oh, this one has four pieces. Look at that. Okay, cool. Also, it says Lake Rap. Oh, did they always have those uh, icons on the top left there? That's kind of cool. Let me see them. I still wish there was a quick um, compare details. Ooh. Sore. Oh, that looks kind of new. Well, let's compare detail, dude. Let me see. Oh, okay. And then this turns it off. All right. I mean, it's kind of the same as this menu, right? Yeah, it's just getting rid of the section on the right, but it's the same thing. I, I like this one more because it shows us an equip load too. Okay, well, I just want to test that out. So yeah, I still wish this a button to quickly um, equip the full set for us. That would be so cool. I think they should put that in the future patch. <laughs> Alright fam, so that will be it for Celine's questline. We finished everything off hers. Switch sword. This one seems to fit better. And so with the next part, we're going to start going into a new area. Uh, most likely here. Thoughtful crater, but before we do so, I think I may come over here. This is I'm gonna put a beacon here too. Um that is the tower, uh divine tower for uh, Radagon's Great Ruins. So I'm thinking of go get that before heading out to here. And let me go ahead and put a Oh the cursor. Oh the cursor it's not responding. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, before we go there, I really appreciate you watching all your support, fam. You're amazing. Be sure to click on the button below to like, subscribe for new video, and share. Until next time, keep on playing. Take care.